Hey, welcome to Topper Time. I'm your host, not really. That's the host, the man, the myth, the legend, Drippington Wooding Tang. That's your name. Or yeah. Drippy, Drippy Tang Woody. Drippington whatever. Woody. Yeah, yeah, whatever, That's whatever, it. yeah. This is the man, the hustler, half man, half amazing. It don't matter. It's Dre Sean Kendrick. No, I'm Andre. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to call you Dre Sean today. Oh, okay. Yes, because he broke your record. Okay. Anyhow. Hey, look, for real. Hey, respect what you've done. Appreciate respect it. the love. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, man. I, and the thing is, how many of these kids, let me ask you this, how many of these kids right now out here that you have coached? Oh, uh, I don't well, know, man. Let's see here. Maybe about four or five of these right here in this group here. Yeah, mm. about four or five of them. In the city of Lynchburg, how many have you coached? Oh, I can coach. Let's go LCA. Let's go Heritage. Oh, let's go man. Brookville. Let's go all of them. How much have you had your finger on that pulse? Well, it wasn't just my finger. We had, uh, like I said, we had some great coaches, mm -hmm. great pulse guys. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They knew what was going on. But, I mean, shoot, they're everywhere. You got uh, Long Kid uh, from Appomattox, uh, Irvis, Keith down there. You got uh, Zach at LCA, Skates at LCA, mm -hmm. DeAndre. I mean, you know, so the list go on and on. Let's, let's stay out here. Stay you out. Yeah, you legend. Much respect. Now, one-on-one, -on -one, me and you. Word. I'm the wide receiver. You the DB. What's going to happen? Just come on, man. You ain't even, at this age right now, on, yeah. you're yeah, not going to get off the line. We're old. At this age, you ain't going to get off you the line. You ain't getting off the line. So back in the day, what I would have probably did. Uh, I don't want you back in the day. You know, yeah. So right now, right now, you wouldn't get off the line because I wouldn't let you off the line. Yes, but, sir. you know, yeah. Yes, sir. Real love, real love, real love. Hey, I thank you for everything that you've done for EC Glass. Yeah, again, blue and white. Don't say what it is. It mean it, it ain't. If you it ain't blue, yeah, yeah. Dig, dig, dig. Midtown. Midtown. And 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 you're the man to myth the legend. Let me ask you one more question. The best situation at EC Glass High School that you've ever experienced, football wise, what is it? Personally or just yeah. from No, I mean like sports wise. Like far as like what I mean personally by myself? Or? Yes, sir. Well no, nah, I mean whatever what's the best? It could be team, it could be personal. What's mm. up? I don't know, man. It's been a lot of good times. A lot of good times. I've seen bro. film. I've seen film. Oh man. I don't know. That's a hard one. I mean I can't put the finger on You can, you got to. Well, I mean, if you look back in the day, mm. really? that's what I'm talking yeah. Okay, okay, so back in the day. Yes, sir, absolutely. Right, so back in the day. Well, you was wearing number one. It was probably the Lee Davis game my senior year to go to the state chair. Hold on, that, so that was the state semi. That was state semi, mm -hmm. state semi. Mm -hmm. Lee Davis out of Richmond. Lee Davis out of Richmond, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that game went, you know, our fans left on us, man. We had a minute and 13 on our 20, and they left on us. What'd you do? Me and my dog, Spank Dog. Coach Bobby Johnson, Spank? sorry, Coach, sorry, Coach. Coach, Coach Johnson. Bobby Johnson yes, was call, mm -hmm. calling plays from the sideline. Me and said Spank Dog, though. That's yeah, Spanky. Yes, Donnell McDaniel, yes, Spanky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he mm -hmm. came in as the receiver. Yes, sir. Coach was giving us the plays. We was like, forget them plays. Spanky, go to the sticks and stop. We did that all the way down the field. They shifted that the defense. Black magic. They shifted the mm -hmm. defense over. We threw the backside post to mm -hmm. Steve Coffey for the touchdown. Mm -hmm. Church was out. Church. And y'all won. Yeah, but our field goal kicker missed the field goal. Uh -huh. We went into uh, overtime, yep. won in overtime. Yep. Right. And then y'all had to play Hampton. Oh, Ronald yeah. Curry. Yeah. 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 He was good. I apologize to all that glass. I was no. not. I, I, it was no. No, you I the man. that one all day long. You the man. You the man. Hey, that's the man. Yeah. That's the man. Hey, look. Now, hey, look. I'm going to pass the mic because I shouldn't be doing this anyhow. Mm -hmm. So I guess I have my show back now. So <laughs> we'll be right back with. Uh, Coach Woody, what's up, what's up, what's up, and welcome to the real Drake and Talk, mm -hmm, the real one. top of time pregame show. we like to thank uh, Coach Drippington thank you. Thank you. for the uh, interview, mm -hmm. but Coach, last week, mm -hmm. good game, yes, sir. kids look like they're hitting on all cylinders, mm -hmm. you know, offense, defense, special teams, talk to us a little bit about that game last week. Hey, we did a good job handling up front. That's what was my concern as we approached the game. How can we stop them running the ball, and how can we establish the run? And uh, me and George did a good job of distributing the football. We had about 10 guys that touched the rock, whether that be the running back, whether that be somebody catching the rock. George ran it. 
a couple of times. We're, we're, we, we've got to understand it's only one football. We got to distribute. We got to share the wealth, spread love. And um, I, I don't like the penalties again. I, did you see it? Not too much of it, but I heard it was penalty driven a little. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. I mean, granted, we were guilty. Yeah. We're guilty. Shouldn't be holding. Yeah. But at the same time, hmm. Yeah. You know, you I lost my calls? I let, I lost my testimony a little bit. You, Did you get a flag? I should have. Yo, man, you got to get a flag one time, man. When you up like I about tried. fifty. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried. They didn't give me one. <laughs> told me to settle down. Okay. The referee told me like I ain't never seen you this mad. <laughs> it's like, well, the heck on it. You, you don't see it. You don't see it. They, they, they hold. You can hold every play. No doubt. You can call holding every. They play. they they called holding every play on us. Wow. Hey. Man, it won't that bad. But yeah, yeah well, we we were guilty. We were guilty. Yeah. And so we got to write in those wrongs as we as we approach the playoffs. We can't have those types of penalties. And and you know, hundred yards worth of penalties. That's tough. That's gonna get you. That'll get you beat in in, in playoffs. Absolutely. Absolutely. So continue. Always continue to write in wrongs. Yeah. And uh, but also motivate aggressive play. Yeah. And our kids were aggressive on Friday, and I don't think that Rustburg thought that we were going to hang 40 on them in a half. Mm-hmm. Nah, granted we it was 33 in the first half, and we could have put more on them. Yeah. And, and but we didn't. We yeah. we we you know we we keep it respectful and classy. Good. You know, classy, not ashy. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good man. Uh oh. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. Almost caught that, didn't? But hey. Mm. We finished talking about last week. Yep. We're going to get on to them Dang. G5 players of the game. Yes, and then we're going to talk about the big matchup this week. Mm-hmm. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm. We are back with this week's G5 defensive player of the game, Mr. Eli Wood. Mr. Eli Wood, how you doing today, brother? I'm doing good. How are you? Man, I'm doing good. But it's different, man. I'm used to you on the office, offensive side of the ball, man, making all these plays, man. But watching you all year, you've been patrolling them skies. And they said last week you was the man on D with a 70-yard pick six. Talk to us about it, brother. Well, it's all, all of our defense working as one. And we, we flew around last week. And I was lucky enough to be able to pick one off. But we had two other guys that had picks, too. So we were just all working together as one last week. And Eli, man, I watched you in a couple of games, man. You nasty back there at that safe safety, man. I see you put a little oomph on them tackles this year, man. Talk to us about about, about the physicality. Yes, yeah, sir. Well, I I truly believe that's a element of my game. Um, and I, I I love to hit people, and I think our whole team does. We just fly around, and we we just love to hit. Well, you heard it from the man, Eli. Eli Wood. Guess what? This year, weeks G five. Defensive player, what game? Rustburg game. All right. <laughs> now we're back with our G5 offensive player of the game for the Rustburg week, Mr. Lil Rohan Marley, Mr. Michael Thomas Jr. Mike, what's going on, bro? Not much, just chilling. All right, man, your team and your coaches voted you as the player of the game against Rustburg, man. Talk about the assurgence of you guys running the ball and how that's going to help y'all down the stretch. Uh, first of all, without the offensive line, none, none of that would have been possible. But um, I think it's going to help us in the stretch because we're very versatile. We can do everything. We can uh, run. We can throw. We got a QB that can, that can sling it, a, like a 60-yard bomb. Like, we can do everything. Now, I sense out here, man, the confidence is up, but it ain't cockiness. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all preparing like you know you're still hungry. But, man, just talk about, you know, the confidence of the team and the confidence now that they have in the running game. Yes, sir. Uh... Like coach say, we like to be classy, not ashy, you know. So we're going to have a little swagger to us. But, you know, just just stay calm and collected. Well, the confidence in the running game did upgrade a lot. Like, we was we was kind of, like, iffy about it. But now it's, like, a sure, a sure, for sure thing. Like, we can, we know we can run the ball if we need to. So it's going down Friday or what? Yes, sir. You know it. Holla back. All right, we back with Mr. Sam Tracy. Our G5 unsung hero for the Rustburg week. Mr. Tracy, how you doing today, brother? I'm good. How are you? Doing good, man. And listen, for about the last month and a half, all I've been hearing is your name, man. You done got moved up from the ranks. You're a freshman. You're at the defensive end. You've been in the trenches with the big dogs. Talk to us about that this week. Well, I started off the season playing wide receiver for JV. And then Coach Penn moved me to defense after our starting DN got put out for COVID. And then... 
after the Libby Bedford game, I got a lot more playing time on varsity, and then Coach Johnson decided to move me up full time. Well, hey, man, you done got moved up from the JVs to the varsity, and you playing some substantial minutes, man. The sky is big for you. The future is big for you. And just talk to us a little bit about the future of the Hittoppers. Well, I think uh, we're going to beat Brookville this week, obviously. Okay, okay. And I think we could really make it far into the playoffs. You heard it. Freshman Sam Tracy getting major minutes. we we'll right back. All right, Coach. It's a big one. Not only is it a big one because it's the next one, but this is a big one. Talk to us about your former place and the rivalry that you guys have built these last few years. Well, you I never got to play against you. You never got to play against me. But E.C. Glass and Brookville have always been representing Lynchburg area. Dig? Uh -huh. All right. I'm glad that Brookville's coming to us. I don't like going over there. You don't want to go to the hive. I don't. I don't want to. I don't like the hive. I, I do. Like, I love the hive. Yeah. But I want to be on this side. I don't want to be on that side. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're good here. It's our house. It's more comforting. But they're a good football team. That's well right. coached. Uh, that 28, Barry Sanders. A little bit like you. A little bit like you. He go. He go. Well, he he don't have the fifth gear like you had it, but he's got. He's definitely guess. I like him. He goes. I I and and in that regard, I like him too, but I don't like him. No doubt. No doubt. Because he's good. He's good. And the quarterback can sling it, and and they're good up front on both sides of the ball. So we got to be able to run the football. L. A. We got to be able to run the football. Sure. Yeah. No, just saying. We got to be able to. Hand in the dirt, no three yards in a cloud of dust. No if we can't do that, we're going to struggle. But we're good out here, too. Yeah. We got speed out here, too. Yeah. We can flip it. We can swing it. We can throw it. And uh, we've got some things up our sleeve. Yeah. Hope nobody from Brookfield's watching. Oh, yeah, no, be, yeah. They all, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're always watching, man. It's the Drake and Talk Show. You know they still tuned in, everybody. I know, but, I know. Joe, but, Joe, you and Coach Meeks, mm -hmm. you guys got a relationship. Mm -hmm. You guys got a history. Mm -hmm. You guys played together. Mm -hmm. You know, and you've been coaching together for the last couple of years. I think he know you. You know him a little yeah. bit. Let's yeah. talk about that the head coaching matchup. Yeah, well, yeah, back pocket. He knows me. I know him. Uh, he's got something up his sleeve, and I don't. I'm not gonna know about it. He's tricky. I got something on my sleeve too. We're both tricky, and 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 it's competitiveness. It's it's trying to be the best. It's trying to to outthink. Trying to outcoach. Trying to outwork. Nobody's gonna outwork Meeks. Meeks is a hard-working coach, man. That dude busts his chops. And he's got in and his players, they follow the leader. So they're gonna leave their feet to make plays. And, and we're gonna do the same thing right here. So it's a good rivalry. We need to have like, not a jug bowl, can't be the jug, but what's the rivalry called? between Brookville and Glass needs to be one. It do, it do, it do, it do. Like I said, it's, it's developing into a, a rivalry, a mm -hmm. true rivalry in the Seminole District. Mm -hmm. um, why not? We're right around the corner from each other. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to see each other. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, same bragging rights as Heritage and Glass. Mm -hmm. I mean, it may be city, but mm -hmm. I mean, technically we still, they are still in the city, mm -hmm. you know, so. What do you think? You got to make it up, man. Hey, I, you know, I get to it. I get to work on it. I definitely get to work on it, but yes, hey, Y'all want a good game? You better come out to City Stadium Friday night. It's going to be knockdown drag out. You got the Brookville Bees and you got the Hilltoppers of EC Glass. And yeah, it's going to be a good one. So, you going to be there. What? I'm on the sideline. Oh, and I got some exclusive <laughs> gear that I'm going to be wearing on uh, on Friday. So you'll be able to, no, 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 you got to save that, save that. But I got some exclusive gear that you'll be able to have, and you can be able to purchase it. So this is for Dre Ken and Woody. We out. <laughs> yeah.